and come back towards Rasana. Stretch your legs back to Vishramasana. Patients with osteoarthritis should do this with Kursha. Vakrasana. The Vakrasana, the spinal twist posture, though it is only, uh, it's not complete Vakrasana, which will be much more uh, challenging, but here also, the people who are suffering from uh, back pain, vertebral and uh, disc disorders, ab after abdominal surgery and during the periods. Vakra means twisted. Bend the right leg and place the right foot beside the left knee. Bring the left arm around the right knee and place the palm beside the right foot. Exhale, twist the body and neck to the right. Comfortably remain in this posture. Turn your head back. Take out your hands with exhalation. Stretch your legs. Now come back and relax in Vishram Asana. This asana increases flexibility of the spine. It helps to overcome constipation, dyspepsia and in the management of diabetes. Repeat the same on the other side. Turn your head back. Take out your hands with exhalation. Stretch your legs. Now come back and relax in Vishramasana. Pujangasana. Now let us be ready for pru. Now it's going to be the postures while lying down on your abdomen. Please get ready for the posture, lie down on your abdomen, face this side, this head this side, towards me, so that you can see the screen as well. So the, when it comes to the Bhujangasana, the contraindications are the abdominal surgery, those who had in last two to three months time, hernia, Ulcers, they should, if those who have hernia or ulcers should avoid doing this Bhujangasana. It is very useful for back pain relieving. You can tone postures. Bhujangasana. Bhujang means snake or cobra. Lie down on your stomach. Rest your head on your hands and relax the body. Now join your legs and stretch your arms. Join Keep the forehead on the ground. Keep your palms beside the chest and raise the elbows. Inhale with the chin and chest up to the navel region. This is Pujangasana. This asana is best for stress management. It also helps to manage backache and bronchial problems. Exhale. Rest your forehead on the ground and stretch your arms. Spread your legs. Place your palms and rest your head on the palms and relax. Shalabhasana. Next one is Shalabhasana, the locust pose. Cardiac patient should avoid this posture. Proceed cautiously in case of severe back pain. People with high blood pressure, peptic ulcers and hernia should also avoid this posture. All others can perform. It's very useful for sciatica relief. Shalabha.
clip. It looks like the technical clip. Shalabhasana is slowly place your hands beside the body and raise the legs together both the legs from the thighs keep knees straight slowly raise the legs and slowly bring them down very very slowly relax the next one we will be doing is Makarasana Makarasana is to relax your back anybody suffering from the back pain performing Makarasana regularly every day will be amazingly relieved from the back pain so when it comes to the makarasana the contraindications are in case of avoid the doing makarasana for long if you have if you are suffering from low blood pressure, pressure severe cardiac problems or during pregnancy the makarasana is done in a various ways where you can place both the hands under the head, relax your head and stretch the legs and allow them to completely let go. Relaxing your back. This is one variation of Makarasana. Just let go. Allow your back muscles to completely relax. The other variation is where you can do keep the elbows as a stand to your head which will be of great help. Make the elbows as a stand to your head like the children watch the TV lying down on their abdomen. <laughs> Staying in this posture 10 to 15 minutes, 2 to 3 times a day, you can prevent back pain. You will be relieved if you are suffering from the back pain. Very, very useful posture. Hope they are able to get back to the place. If not, the next posture is sit supine postures on your back. Please turn on your back. Make sure you have safe space. We are going to do the Setu Bandhasana The Setu Bandhasana or Chatuspadasana it is called The contraindications are the people who are suffering from uh, ulcers, hernia, women in advanced stages of pregnancy should avoid doing the Setu Bandhasana The Setu Bandhasana bend your legs Bring them nearer to the buttocks. Your hands beside your body. If you could catch hold of the ankles, that's good. If you cannot, do not worry. Just let the hands beside. Yeah. One. Slowly. Inhale. Slowly raise your buttocks and trunk up as much as you can to form a bridge. 
remain comfortably. This is the final position. This asana relieves depression and anxiety. It strengthens the lower back muscles. Now exhale. Slowly return to the original position and relax. Lie down on your back. Please note, women in advanced stages of pregnancy should not practice this asana. Bhavan Muktasana. Bend both the knees and bend the thighs to the chest. Eat. Uh, just let me give you the same contraindications oh, what were there for the Seda Bandhasana. <laughs> if anybody having those problems, do not fall on with it. Carry on with it. Paul Muktasana. Still off the fingers and clasp the shin below the knee. Raise the head and shoulders. Try to touch the knees with the chin. This is Bhavan This removes constipation, gives relief from flatulence, and tones up the back muscles and spinal nerves. Bring your head back. Exhale. Stretch your legs. And relax. Avoid this practice in case of abdominal injuries, hernia, sciatica, and during pregnancy. Shavasana. Shav means the dead body. This asana is meant for complete relaxation. Lie down on your back with the arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms facing upward eyes closed. Relax the whole body consciously. Become aware of natural breath and allow it to become rhythmic and slow. Remain in this position till you feel refreshed and relaxed. This asana helps relieve all kinds of tensions and gives rest to both the body and the mind. It is very beneficial in the management of stress and its consequences. Let go, relax. मैं मूलतः भारत में रहता हूँ, राष्ट्रीय स्वयंसेवक संघ में पिछले 35 साल से प्रचारक हूँ, मुंबई मेरा केंद्र है, गुजरात, महाराष्ट्र, गोवा इन तीन राज्यों में पब्लिक रिलेशन का काम मेरे पास है और यह मैं घरों के साथ करता हूं योग जैसे शिक्षाओं का यह सामान्य लोग भी पालन करें इसका प्रयास मैं करता हूं Kapalabhati contraindications you should avoid not to th even to think to do when you have a cardiac conditions, giddiness, high blood pressure, vertigo, chronic bleeding in the nose, epilepsy, stroke, hernia, gastric ulcers. If you have, should avoid it. And many people they do it, you know. Uh, as a fashion doing a lot of kapalabhati which is not suggested according to yoga as a therapy also if you are using you should avoid doing too much of kapalabhati it is not to reduce the you know abdomen it is for kapala means the skull bhati is to shine so when you are doing the kapalabhati when you are flapping your tummy the energy is shooted to the skull inside 
and it makes it to shine it is nothing to do with reducing the weight please if somebody is doing for that it's only a by product benefit you may get and it should be done only but it should be done after cleansing the entire body according to yoga it is yes please can you play that Kapala Bhati She has stimulates respiratory centers in the front Is it struck? Okay, keep your back straight, head straight, please and after taking a deep breath then you start exhaling forcefully by flapping your tummy you do it continuous exhalation if you have any of the suggested uh, given contraindication do not do 20 strokes and then relax Once you have done twenty strokes, relax, please. Can you explain once again how to do that? Yeah, it is. You need to keep your back straight, head straight, and take a natural deep breath. And after that, when you need to exhale. forcefully you pull the navel inside you pull the navel so that abdomen hits inside the diaphragm the diaphragm hits the lungs and exhalation is happening and just it's like when when you leave it it will be not automatically filling within the short period your effort will be consciously effortfully you are exhaling only you are pulling your navel in and making it to happen from the abdomen when you hit the abdomen in it's hitting the diaphragm inside the diaphragm will be hitting the lungs and lungs are exhaling forcefully relax please the next one is the very useful pranayama anuloma viloma it is nadi shodhana pranayama very easy no contraindications you can uh, everyone can do it it balances if somebody having the low blood pressure it will bring it to normal high blood pressure bring it to normal it's a equalizer like it helps a lot in controlling the blood pressure either you know those who are comfortable what you can do is the mudra of the hand is like this mudra the thumb and the little finger and ring finger you you will be you need to take the hand straight to your body in front and close the right nostril very slowly and fully gently very very gently inhale and exhale keep your back straight head straight please if you are comfortable keep your eyes closed you will have much better relaxation slowly and gently inhale and exhale close the other nostril inhale and exhale this is a preparation the next one what you will do is you inhale from one nostril close the nostril release the thumb or finger and exhale from the other nostril there is no need to hold the breath at this point of time those who started doing the anulom vilom inhalation from left nostril close the left nostril 
Exhale from the right nostril. Inhale from the right nostril. Close the right nostril. Exhale from the left nostril. Again, inhale from the right nostril. Alternative nostril breathing. Keeping your back straight, head straight. This you can do while sitting in comfortable posture, either in Padmasana or Sukhasana or in Vajrasana, any of the posture you can be in which is comfortable. Those who cannot sit on floor could do by sitting on the chair. So even chair asana is permitted for Anuloma, Viloma. Relax, please. No. Next one is Brahmari Pranayama. The Brahmari Pranayama is like a black bee making sound, humming sound, like a making it. Only contraindication is those who are having the ear problem, ear infections, should not be doing it. Uh, they shouldn't be doing it. The Brahmari Pranayama, what you do is, you, you keep close your ears and eyes, mouth, you close, naturally inhale through the nose, and make while exhalation make the humming sound like a honeybee. Relax, please. It is very good to, best way to say easily, most of them, you are, might be using the computer society, defragmentation you do now and then to set the hard disk. When you do the Brahmari, the inside cells, the only way to do the exercise to the brain cells is through the Brahmari. It will be realigning all the cells inside the brain. It, it's very good to relax yourself and make yourself very active. So by doing in the morning, you will be active throughout the day. Even you can do it to relax yourself sometime in the evening as well. We are going to practice simple meditation technique. Please. Keep your back straight, head straight, your eyes gently closed, very, very relaxed, absolute stillness, please. Totally be with yourself. Complete awareness. Become aware of natural, subtle sensations that are happening within deep awareness, total awareness. Absolute awareness.
become aware of your breath. The way it is happening. completely be with yourself total awareness absolute awareness you know the sankal power you are sitting with your whole eyes hame hamare man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai isme hi hamara aatma vikas समाया हुआ है वी की प्रसव ऑलवेज बैलेंस इन दिस प्रसव डेवलपमेंट is existing we we'll do the shanti part sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu sarve bhadrani pashyantu maya kachit dukha bhavave maya kachit dukha bhavave first uh, to reach there on 28 29th of uh, april and then he inspired uh, many people so welcome dr satish sharma ji he is a uh, deputy lieutenant representing her majesty the queen and uh, the many organizations you will see within 5 minute it will be already this hall will be ready for mari bhi aaj bahut si organization hai dr krishan kumar from gitanjali our brother and sister from brahma kumari and there are many many other very important hamare लास्ट ईयर जो मेयर थे श्री वास्तव जी अजरक भी ही परफॉर्मिंग योगा आचार्य जी फ्रॉम श्री पुष्पनाथ मंदिर एंड आई आई वॉज इन कठमंडू आई शो यू दी फोटोग्राफ एंड श्री पुष्पनाथ मंदिर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वी वेन टू कठमंडू वी वर देर एंड आई यू विस्ट 
that the aid should reach directly to people and with the guidance of Dr. Sati Sharma ji, we managed to do that with Eastern Foods, we used the Eastern Foods Charitable Trust and uh, their accounts and uh, a gentleman called Raju Kadel, he helped us and we read directly. So, you are all ready? Acharya ji, are we ready? Okay. One minute, a little more. This is the partition. Okay. You are here. You are here. And speakers, I am sure, Acharya ji, we will adjust the time. If there was 10 minutes, if we can save a couple of minutes, then we will finish on time. Satya Ji, would you, while they are doing, would you like to say a couple of words? Sure. Deep Ji? Deep, Deep Ji, please. Ah. Oh. Uh, thank you. In fact, it's, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here in the Center of Oneness. And what better than celebrating International Yoga Day. I, on behalf of the Queen, Her Majesty, welcome you all and I hope that you have a, you have a wonderful day today. Yoga is basically for two things, for exercise and for concentrating mind. I was sitting there in the chair and lots of people asked, no yoga for you today. Well, no extra yoga for me today because I've been doing it for several years. And it was great to see you all doing it in different ways, trying to make your own cup of tea in a different way as long as you enjoy it. Some people were having their legs in air, the others were having hands in air. They were facing this way and others were facing that way. But does it matter? No. It doesn't matter as long as you enjoy it and you relax. On a, on a serious note, if the yoga is for 160 countries plus, it cannot be said to be belonging to one class or community. If somebody says it is promoting this is or that is, that is rubbish. Not correct. Because it's not promoting any ism, it's promoting oneness. It's also promoting how to relieve yourself from the stress. In the fast running society, we are running where we are running fast and faster to stay still. If we can have a moment for ourselves, it's not a bad selfish way because by becoming a, a by becoming a better person myself, I hope I can do